have been sent this awesome bit of tech called the Bittle STEM Kit, which is an open source bionic robot dog that is also programmable from Patoy. This version of the Bittle is actually a price down version known as the STEM Kit. It has plastic gear surfos instead of metal ones, making it lighter and more flexible, but also keeping the cost down. This model is best suited for those who want to learn general STEM and who just want to dabble in some robotic fun. In the box, you get the Bittle robot, a controller, charging cable, spare parts, and two additional modules, a Wi-Fi adapter and a USB adapter, along with some tools to help you work on the bot. This cool little robot dog has many tricks and features which you can control either with the dedicated controller or an app on your phone. Bittle can walk, shake hands, sit, be a ninja, do push-ups, and one of my favorite features is going to the toilet. He has many more features and movements like this but built straight into the app and the controller which you can use. One of the best features is what I call the overdrive feature, where you can switch on super fast movements so the Bittle runs at lightning speed. This makes for some funny, super funny movements when Bittle can't slow down quick enough and sometimes may go into a wall. The robot dog can also be programmed with even more features. It uses the OpenCAD framework developed by Patoy. It uses C++ or Scratch or Python as its programming languages. You can also get extra accessories such as the camera module, a light sensor or the touch sensor and many more. Personally, I love this piece of tech. Not only is it fun out of the box, but you can also build upon it and learn new and valuable skills in the process. It's great for teaching new people robotics and programming. It's also open source, which means it's accessible for everyone. Now let's talk about what I think could be improved. Personally, I think the design is already really cool. I love the head design, it gives me that Egyptian god vibe. However, I wish I could buy it in other colours. I think Patoy could sell various coloured designs as well as some vanity accessories to customise your dog visually. This would allow for some really cool customizations to make Bittle your own personal pet. You can get around this uh, by just 3D putting your own parts, it's actually not too hard to do. But the issue is not everyone has access to the tech, so if Pitoy could offer these extra customizations, it would really improve the product. One more improvement I'd like to see is the grip on the feet. The bill works really good on carpet and soft surfaces, and it also does work well on hardwood floor, but it does tend to slide around a little more on those sort of surfaces, which isn't a major issue because it leaves room for funny moments like sliding into walls, as I said earlier. However, I think it would be cool if we can get an accessory to improve the grip like rubber feet. Overall, I love the product. It's so cool and has so much potential with its customization and extra modules. It's also a great tool for education. If you want to learn more about Patoy and their robotic pets, I'll leave all the links you need down below in the description. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and don't forget to leave a comment on what you're, you liked best about the Bittle. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.